GSL would like to thank our title sponsor, South Beach Bar and Grill, featuring Toledo's best patio. Miami comes to Toledo at South Beach, 2114 West Alexis. Hey Toledo and all my lower Michigan residents, if you haven't heard about the new spot that just opened up in the city that everybody will soon be talking about, then I'm about to get you up to date. 2114 Alexis Road, formerly the Sports Center, and the place is called South South Beach. Come get a taste of Miami without even leaving Toledo, because South Beach is proud to have one of the most laid out patios in, in the, the city. city. This is for the mature Mr. and Mrs. 21 and up. No t-shirts, no sweats, and no hoodies. That's every Friday and Saturday and Tiki Party Tuesday at South South Beach. 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 Greetings and pardon the interruption, everyone. My name is Andre Savage, host of Game Savvy Late Night, and I'm here with a special announcement from my good friends here at the AutoMax dealership on the east side, 2255 Navarre. Now, you already know that this is the home of no credit check and financing for everyone. Well, now get this. They're offering you, as a viewer of Game Savvy Late Night, Game Savvy Peace of Mind Financing. That's where they will match your down payment up to $3,000 off the purchase price and they will offer you a one year warranty. Peace of mind, I think so. One year warranty, matching you, down payment up to three grand, you gotta get here, make it happen, ladies and gentlemen. Get back on the road, go find that job, get back in the game with the girls, fellas. It's right here, AutoMax is here for you and if you let them know Game Savvy Late Night sent you, they'll take care of you. Call Nor, let them know you're on your way, 419-691-3325, or check out that website at www.automaxoregon.com. Again, our good friends are waiting for you. Game Savvy Late Night in AutoMax, ladies and gentlemen, 2255 Navarre. We'll see you when you get here. Hi, I'm Congresswoman Marcy Kaptur, and I'm watching Game Savvy Late Night, the show the players watch. All right, all right, everybody. Welcome back in, Late Night Heads. Time to the work portion of the program. Like I said, very special show for us tonight, the Olympic version. And so with that said, as I mentioned in the intro, my guest tonight is a 2009 graduate of Rogers High School. Many of you know that is on Nebraska Avenue for my local people. But in any event, this is not a local situation. It is global, in fact, because we have a representative headed on over to London. 2012 Summer Games, high jump champion, I will say, in his collegiate activity. Obviously, an all-star here in high school in Toledo, Ohio. But hey, we're going to London now, and we mean business. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the man who is ready for work. His name is Eric Kennard, Jr. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir, for being here. I really appreciate it. Now, again, uh, you know, first thing I want to say, a, a extreme gratitude, because you could have big time me, man. You oh, know, no, you're in a no, position no. right now. You could have said, I'm not talking to staff. Humble beginnings, man. Humble beginnings. Absolutely, man. Well, well, congratulations, first and foremost, on everything. I know this is obviously, uh, you know, very overwhelming, kind of a lot, a lot of things obviously happening for you, man. A lot yeah. of things have changed. Uh, I mean, I, I guess I, I would start by... Just take me back a little bit. Uh, let's, let's come back to Toledo, Ohio, and uh, your track career here. Obviously, a lot of accolades, highly decorated and all of that. Um, I guess I would say, man, you know, what's the biggest difference in you now as opposed to kind of when you started, especially those who, who had no idea you were even involved in all this? Um, I think I've matured a lot, you know, and uh, I've caught a, I've kind of, excuse me, sought out knowledge, especially when it pertains to my sport. and. Uh, and that's it. I mean, I, I made a move that most people wouldn't, you know, go out on the land to make. I mean, moving right. to Kansas, you know. Right. I hear all the Wizard of Oz jokes and all the right, Dorothy, right. you know, parodies. But it's, I mean, it was a career move, and uh, obviously it's worked out for the best. Yeah, I mean, you know, Kansas State, and obviously, uh, you know, a lot of people may not be familiar with, with that part of the country, man, and the Big 12 Conference and everything. But I guess talk about that experience a little bit. And, and I guess when was the first time, man, you realized that, something like this could happen. I mean, there's one thing to be very good at the college yeah. level and all of that, and then, you know, you can have a great career that way, but then we start talking Olympics, man. At what point did you realize, like, man, this is serious? Um, I'm, I'm not a very content person with anything, you know, and I'm not, I'm, I'm never satisfied, hardly ever satisfied, especially right. with secondary. So, you know, whatever, whatever it is that I'm doing, I, I got to be the winner, you know. I have to be the alpha, and that's it. Right, and, right. Uh, you know, pursuing track and field, you know, I was in it 
to win, I, you know. Like, I've been to Europe, you know. Okay. I, I went to Europe four years ago, you know. I was 17 years old. I've, I've been to London. Okay. You know, I, I did all the sightseeing. I jumped at the trials in 2008 when I was 17 for the experience. Right. You know, four years later, I was there to make the team, you know. Right. Unfortunately, I came in second. We ain't right. gonna talk about that, you know. I got right. another another shot, you right. know, when, when I get to London. That. Exactly. Well, now here's here's the question in, 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 that you said all of that, man. How, how much of you know who you are right now, man, is based on you know what you've done as an athlete? Um, you know, a lot. I mean, you know, as quiet as kept, not as quiet as kept. Most of who I am now is based on, you know, and what I've done as an athlete, where I come from. Right. You know, being from Toledo, Ohio. You know, it's not a lot that goes on. You know, we don't have a lot. You know to speak on mm -hmm. in a positive connotation. In, in a positive connotation. You know we got saying? plenty in the negative. So, right? um, like I've explained, you know, I try to, you know, demonstrate and not explain, you know. Okay. I, I don't, you know, get into, the, you know, talking about it. You right. know, I, I'm, I'm sort of about it, yeah, you know. So yeah. I try to lead by example. And, I, man, like I said, humble beginnings. You know my mother personally. Right. So, Absolutely. you know, we, we, we kings and queens, man. That's, that's it. That's Absolutely. all it is. And, and that's funny you said that because I, I will say, brother, understand this. I went to school with your mom, which is, this is horrible to be saying. <laughs> yeah. I walked to high, high school halls with this man's <laughs> mother. And again, as he sits here as a grown man, um, very classy lady, though. Yeah. Even at that point, you know, and exactly. all, obviously all of us can't speak of good things in high school. We make a lot of mistakes. Yeah, and again, yeah, your mother yeah. always carried herself properly. So yeah. know that, man. And, uh, you know, so I'm, I'm not surprised that, that, that you've come out like this. Obviously, your old man, very, you know, quality athlete in his own right. Yeah. You know, um, but how about this, man? With so much attention put on this and we talked about the fact that, OK, the, the people kind of think we've accomplished something with you just yeah. getting there. But what if for some reason it doesn't go how you want it to go? Which will be worse, mm -hmm. possibly the disappointment of the United States, yeah. you may be on a global level, or the people in Toledo, which is worse to, to kind of face afterward? It, the disappointment in me, um, you know, right. I don't set out to accomplish things for anybody else. Okay. You know, I, I'm fine, I'm strong, I'm fine with everybody jumping on my back. Okay. And I, I can carry this, you know, but as far as, you know, everyone else's expectations and, right. and living up to the hype of the United States and all that, I'm 21 years old, you yeah. know. I write, I write goals down to check them off for me, you know. Okay. That's it. And, um, I mean, in 2008, man, America didn't have a high jumper in the finals, you know. I'm that's trying true. to change that, you know. Absolutely. So I have to, and that's the thing, you know, like I said, it's an, it's, a, it's an accomplishment, excuse me. It's not a victory. You know, I have to go, that's another thing. I have to make the final first, yeah. you know, which is a task within itself. Right. But, I, you know, I need to go out there and do what I'm, I'm trained to do. You know, I'm not, I've been doing this, man. People say, oh, he's 21, he's young now. Nah. Right. You know, here I'm sharp, you know. Right. I, I've been here. I've, I've been to this stage, you know. Okay. I've beat these guys, you know. Right. So I'm, I'm ready to go. That's what's up, man. Well, hold on. We're going to come back man, after the break. Got a few more things for you, brother. I appreciate you, no doubt. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Eric Kennard, Jr. He's in here. He has something to do. And as you can clearly see, we are not going over here <laughs> to come back with anything with that number one spot on the podium, man. Exactly. But I appreciate exactly. you, man. Hang out after the break, man. We'll gotcha. be right back. Gotcha. No doubt. Ladies and gentlemen, Eric Kennard, Jr. We'll be right back after this. It was a little frustration. I was making little mistakes on the ground. So, I mean, it's like I said, like I told him, you know, it's great to break a meet record and set a new meet record. And, like, it's still low, so I'll be back to break it next year. As you look toward the future, though, I mean, how much do you let all that play into what's going on, man? Or, or are you able to just focus on what's right in front of you? And like I said, the first priority for me is winning. I mean, I'd rather win with six feet than seven feet any day. But uh, just I get to win, and after that, it's just me mentally, you know. Hey Toledo and all my lower Michigan residents, if you haven't heard about the new spot that just opened up in the city that everybody will soon be talking about, then I'm about to get you up to date. 2114 Alexis Road, formerly the Sports Center, and the place is called South Be 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 Beach. Don't get a taste of Miami without even leaving Toledo, because South Beach is proud to have one of the most laid out patios in, in the, the city. city. Fit this is for the mature Mr. and Mrs. 21 and up. No t-shirts, no sweats, and no hoodies. That's every Friday and Saturday and Tiki Party Tuesday at South Beach. 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 Hey, GSL family, this is Andre Savage, and our good friends at Automax told me to tell you about Game Savvy Peace of Mind Finance. Automax will match your down payment up to $3,000 and will add, get this, a one-year warranty. That's right, people, a one-year warranty. Simply stop in and tell them you are Game Savvy. 
I'm Christian Brown, and you're watching Game Savvy, the show the players watch. Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody, again with, with my guest here, Mr. Eric Kennard, Jr., headed to the London Olympics, everybody, 2012 Summer Games, get ready to go off here. We got to get off the Air Force, right? I have to step aside for you, brother, you and your whole teammates and everybody in the United yeah. States going yeah. over there to get it done, so we don't mind getting out of the way for that. But again, man, we talked about quite a few things before the break. Obviously, you let us know that you're very focused, man, and you e expect to have quality results, exactly. okay, and that's that's a beautiful thing. So, with that said, man, um, what is the what's the biggest influence on you, and, and why this? Or I should say, what's the biggest reason? You know what I mean? Maybe you're even in this position, man, or you think like you think. Uh, my mother, man. That's okay. that's bottom line. You know that. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. it's it's my mother. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> yeah, she set the tone. Exactly. I got you. Hey, um, talk about your best effort too. I know before the break, man, we mentioned a little bit about the heights and whatnot. What, what so far has been your best outing? Uh, two meters thirty-four, so seven eight. <sighs> really? Yeah, seven eight. The pause for that, people. I don't really have a follow-up <laughs> question to that because you don't understand. Seven eight. This is almost eight feet. That's all right, man. Moving on, man. We said mom is the biggest influence. How you said that there's really no no press on you, man. So I'm a, I'm gonna assume maybe it's fair to assume that there's been no anxiety and emotional stress with all these different things, man. You got all this attention coming at you and whatnot, man. So how's that been? Uh, it's, I mean, it's fine. You know, I tell a reporter, somebody in a minute. You know, if you want to talk to me, uh, you got to meet me at the track. You talk right. to me after my workout. You know, I need to handle business first. You know, right. I don't have time. You know, to be distracted. You know, and I won't allow myself to be distracted. So right. if you're going to be here, you know, let your presence be known by not saying anything until I'm done doing that. Wow. What's man, I, I love this, man. This is great, man. What's wrong with our young people, man? Why can't we have <laughs> more more of this, ladies and gentlemen? So I but I definitely thank you for coming in here, man, because it's not on the track. And I know, like I said, I really appreciate that. You tell mom, too, oh, that yeah. was a good look, making yeah, it happen, man. Neck. It but, um, got a lot to do. Honestly, man, I'm a very loyal individual. I believe in loyalty, man. And I remember, you know, being at City Park as a young pup and you putting the camera on me, speaking of jumping, you know, showing Thank love, you. and you know, so I return it, you know, I appreciate it. Well, so that's all it is, too. That's what's up, man. Respect to you, too. sir. I know we're going to get it done. Well, with that said, and we're talking about other young people and accomplished cats, your thoughts, man, on LeBron finally winning this championship? Ah, uh, man, listen, man. I'm proud of him, man. I'm a Kobe fan. We're just going to put that oh, in the air right now. Just, oh, I'm sorry, listen. Thing. But I always pull, you know, for the home team, which is Ohio. I mean, right. that's it. You know, so I'm very proud of LeBron James because he did something that I just spoke on, you know. Yeah. He kind of put Akron, you know, just right, dropped right. it off, you know. Right. He had it on his back, you know, he had Ohio on his back, and he said, hold on, you know, this is about me. Right. And, you know, he got away from Twitter, he got away from the phone and the Internet and mm -hmm. put his face in the book and, and went out there and get it, to get it done. And, and that's what you have to do, man. When right. I went to the trials, I cut my phone off. Okay. You know, I'm hearing from people I ain't heard from since I was walking the halls in Nathan Hill. Wow. <laughs> you know, of course, I of cut course. my phone off, you know, and I, I, I didn't need the distractions, you know. Right. And I, I had to go out. There. People didn't realize this was as important to me as the Big 12 championship. You know what I mean? Right. I'm a winner. You know, the stage doesn't matter when it's time to perform. Yes, you know, sir. it don't matter if it's 10 or 15 people in the audience. You know, if it's 15,000 or five, it doesn't yes, matter. I have a job to do, and, and you know, so, but, you know, like that we talked about, you know, success is perceived different. Yeah. So to everybody else, it was a big deal. It wasn't a big deal to me. I was there when I was 17, so right. I was ready to go. It's part of the plan and what we do. Well, speaking of that, doing seizing the moments, uh, one of our sons around here did not fare so well in, in what we kind of hoped would be the uh, the final stop for yeah. one William Buford. The yeah. NBA draft just went by recently. Uh, my man was not picked up in the first couple rounds. Don't obviously know what will happen with it, but, you know, you got any thoughts on that, man? Obviously, he's in position much like yeah. yourself, but, you know. Persevere, you know. That's it, perseverance, you know. People don't know. I didn't win the indoor national championship this year. Right. You know, I took life four. You okay. know, I haven't won one yet. I've won two outdoor national championships back to back right. in my three years of college, you know. But you have to persevere, man. It, it's it's not the end of the road, man. Right. You 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 succeed because you fail. That's yes. it. I cleared the bar because I've knocked it down and I know how it feels. Yes. You know, I think he'll be fine as long as he just continues to work hard and, and push forward. That's it. That's what's up, man. You do the same thing, my friend. Like I said, thank you so much for your time, brother, no coming problem. through. Like I said, tell mom, I said, thank you. We wish you all the best. 
Man, we proud. You know, again, you got the people on your back. It's not a lot to talk about around oh, yeah. here, man. And it's going to be a lot of tears for you and all that because I know we're going to the number one podium. I told oh, yeah. him, and I'll be cocky for you. I'll talk the noise, <laughs> you know what I mean? And you handle the business and I let me do you. what I do. They paid right. me to run my mouth, so that's what, that's what we'll do. Hey, that's what we'll do. But on that note, ladies and gentlemen, it's 2012. It's the Summer Games. We're going off the air. This is our last episode, and we're going to see this man in the coming weeks. And we don't know how much coverage NBC gives to the high jump. So I don't know. We're going to check it out, E. We're going to keep our eye on it. We'll know what it is. We're going to let the people know what's yeah. going on and keep them posted. But, again, we wish you all the, all the best, brother. God bless. Get all it done, right. sir. Appreciate Ladies and gentlemen, Eric Kennard, Jr., everybody. Yeah. 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 Gold medal. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be right back on that. No, we got some more craziness. Yeah. We'll be right back. Game Savvy Late Night, brought to you in part by Powell's Beauty Supply. Mention GSL for special offers. Supply your beauty at Powell's, 901 Nebraska. Rosie's Italian Grill, the patio is always open. Mention Game Savvy for dine-in special, 606 North McCord, South Beach. Feel Miami right here in Toledo on the South Beach patio. Evolution. Step into Evolution and close the deal on the newly renovated patio. 519 Reynolds. Automax. Stop in today and tell them Game Savvy sent you for the Game Savvy Peace of Mind Warranty Offer. 2255 Navarre. Soiree Wedding and Event Planners. Awarded 2012 Bride's Choice Award on WeddingWire.com. Remy's Gentlemen's Club. 707 Mad Singer. Free entry Wednesdays when you mention Game Savvy. Remy's, where the true ballers play. I got asked that question a little while ago, why do I do this? And I didn't really have a good answer at the time. I kind of thought about it a bit. And I guess the reason why I do this is I grew up reading Playboy and Penthouse and you know, reading the interviews, because yes, ladies, we do eventually get to reading the, the, the interviews. Sticky pages, but we get there. <laughs> and um, I, was, you know, I was reading, and all the ladies said the same thing. They didn't care what their man did for a living. They didn't care what he looked like. All they were looking for was a man that could make them laugh. A good guffaw was all they were looking for. So I've been doing this for a while. <laughs> And I've masturbated three times today. <laughs> Lying horns. And one of my best friends, she is a chronic yo-yo dieter. Just about every month, she's got a new theory on how she's going to lose weight. And a few months ago, she called me up and she's like, Patsy, from now on, I'm only going to eat fruit with no skin. It's called juice. <laughs> Single, but recently I signed up for eHarmony and as a backup, datacougar.com. <laughs> and if you've ever been through that process, you know there's a lot of first dates with strangers. But eventually I got a little lucky. Yeah, he paid. <laughs>
You know the saying when church people try to tell you, come as you are? That's a lie. <laughs> Go to church Sunday, butt ass naked, and see if some service is going. <laughs> I would do it, but I'm a grower, not a shower. I'm not going to go in the house of the Lord, not at my best, you know? It's just not the way to go, you know? If a grandfather clock was really a grandfather clock, every hour on the hour it would say something vaguely racist. <laughs> That's what mine does. I'm not in a band, I'm not in a band, but if I was, I think I'd name it, Have You Seen This Child? I just feel like with a name like that, people are more prone to accept your flyers. <laughs> Excuse me, man, have you seen this child? Because we're awesome. <laughs> Some dads are way too critical of their kids, and that's ridiculous. Like, I don't think Jesus came home all excited. Did you see it? Did you see it, Dad? I died for the sins of all mankind. Did you see it? God's real thick about it. Doesn't even take his eyes off the TV. Uh, I saw you fell twice. <laughs> Hello, friends and neighbors. This is Cat Williams, urging you, if you do nothing else with your life, remember to be game savvy. It's one thing to see the game. It's another thing to be game savvy. Get on yours. Greetings and pardon the interruption, everyone. My name is Andre Savage, host of Game Savvy Late Night, and I'm here with a special announcement from my good friends here at the Automax dealership on the east side, 2255 Navarre. Now you already know that this is the home of no credit check and financing for everyone. Well, now get this. They're offering you, as a viewer of Game Savvy Late Night, Game Savvy Peace of Mind Financing. That's where they will match your down payment up to $3,000 off the purchase price, and they will offer you a one-year warranty. Peace of mind? I think so. One-year warranty, matching you, down payment up to three grand? You got to get here, make it happen, ladies and gentlemen. Get back on the road, go find that job, get back in the game with the girls, fellas. It's right here. Automax is here for you, and if you let them know Game Savvy Late Night sent you, they'll take care of you. Call Nor, let them know you're on your way, 419-691-3325, or check out that website at www.automaxoregon.com. Again, our good friends are waiting for you. Game Savvy Late Night in Automax, ladies and gentlemen, 2255 Navarre. We'll see you when you get here. Well, now that you know all the players are watching, what are you waiting for? To advertise your business, organization, or event on Game Savvy TV, just give us a call or call the Savvy Television Headquarters at 213-842-7225. Game Savvy Late Night. It's the show the players watch. There it is. There it is, everybody. The final one in the books for this season. It's been a blast. We started up in January, February, sometime or another. We had some people here. We don't see them. They did a disappearing act, but that's what we do. You love that. But again, this is the last one for now, everybody. The Olympic Games are beginning on NBC this week. So, you know, obviously that's going to be a lot of fun. We got this guy. He's going to make an impact and bring us something home that's going to make us all very proud. Mr. Eric Kennard, Jr., we want to thank him for being here tonight and finishing up with us. Thank you very much, sir. Give it up for that, everybody. No question. Yeah. Big things, Toledo. Big things, Toledo. But on that note, hey, we will be back on August 19th, so get ready. Oh, yeah. We've been working already, and we will still be working while we're gone, and we plan to come back and stir things up like we do. So, on that note, people, you'll see new faces, new things, all kind of new production, and we're excited about that. Sponsors keep it coming. I see something starting to happen now. There's a trend. I may actually one day get off the bus. Oh, boy. Big things, like I said, God is good. On that note, for this guy, Javon Patterson, for the infamous Risa Govaya, and for the lovely, vivacious Danny Karee, and our new people. G Hill, what's up, sir? You know, we got love for you and those who we also will add that we just can't tell you about, but you'll see what it is. On that note, everybody, we'll see you in a few weeks. We appreciate all the love. Keep it going. We'll be on the Facebooks. Check us out on the Internet, all the rest of that stuff. We got to go. It's Olympic time, everybody. And we say, 
salute, good night, wake up, and go to doggone church in the morning. Reverend Will, what's happening, sir? Good night, everybody. Peace. Everybody Get up. On the court. Go to church. Oh my God. Don't let the hey, hurt hey. be the first to take you to church. Now, I detect an issue before we get started here. There's a problem. There's a problem. There's, There's a, a problem. problem. Now, we typically almost, we need a contrast in color we, on team. And well, our, we got Jordan on ours. So when you go to it, you go to, I guess you can go to record. You can go to name brand. You can go to Lifetime Achievement Award. We win all of it. And they just a bad team at the end of the day, you know? So, I mean, big shout out to them for coming nice. I'm, you know, I'm good. Some people ain't got nothing. But, you know, I'm glad they got something. But, you know. You glad to go to the commissioner? Hey, you know, it don't make me I know who it is. I know who on my team. I wouldn't pick none of these bums anyway. So, I know ain't none of them on my team. That's how I know. I look out there and then I look around and I see, oh, Sean P would have never got that call. Byron would have never got the call. Tony Brown was once on my team and be able to receive his walking papers. Uh, AD. <laughs> well, who the home team? Us. And we went y'all the home team, and the other team got to change. And they for three. And they for three. He got the six. on the push. Oh, Amazon.com. Oh, don't play with me. Oh, AD. Try to look cute.